Hey guys, Brian here from Computer Cable Store. I'm back today with a quick video to cover the common pinouts when it comes to straight through and crossover cables. Before getting into the wiring guide, I quickly want to go over what 568A and B is. The Telecommunications Industry Association defined two separate pinouts, 568A and B, for any eight conductor twisted pair cabling. TIA recommends 568A for most cabling systems and lists 568B as an alternative to accommodate certain cable systems. Although in my experience, 568B has been the most common pinout used. So getting into the wiring, a straight through cable is a cable that is wired with the same pinout on each side of the cable. As long as the cable has the same pinout on each side, it will function as a straight through cable. For example, 568A on both sides or 568B on both sides. Looking at this diagram, you'll see that pin one goes to pin one, pin two goes to pin two, and so on. However, a crossover cable will use 568A on one side and 568B on the other side. Using two different pinouts on each end of the cable will cross the transmit and receive pins on the cable. So that way, when one device sends data, the other device will receive that data on the proper pins. Looking at this diagram, you'll see that each pair of transmit pins are crossed over to corresponding receiving pins on the opposite side. Crossover cables, however, have been made obsolete by the implementation of Auto MDIX on most networking equipment. This feature will automatically configure the device based on the cabling used. So for example, if two PCs are connected with a straight through cable, the networking card on one of the devices will automatically swap its transmit and receiving pins to allow the connection. Well, I hope that answered some of your questions about wiring. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Perfect.